there's a silver lining i guess to kim kaufman's videos that is videos are continuing to highlight the things that people find disturbing not about chris watts as such because he is definitely extremely disturbing uh, but about the investigation itself and personally I, I kind of feel like it's not that Chris Watts should get a trial um, but that the investigation should have an inquiry because we, we can all see, no matter whom might be involved other than Christopher Watts, we can see his guilt. Um, whether he retracts any statement he's ever made, we, we, we can see his guilt. There is proof of the heinous things that he has done, including burying his wife Shanann and putting his young girls into the oil batteries. Oh, now are we going to say, well, maybe NK pinged because, oh, they swapped vehicles and she went out to Servi and did the deed? I mean, whatever wild conspiratorial theory people can come up with, I think in one way, it, you know, we do need to keep highlighting this case, even though we're all sick of it. Can't you just let it go? Let him languish and um, suffer in prison where he belongs. Yes, Chris Watts is in prison where he belongs. He deserves to suffer there. And by all accounts, he's um, having rings run around him by the other inmates. Um, but no, he's not going to... I don't believe he deserves a trial. Well, not for the sake of him, but for the sake of... Um, Writing some wrongs about this investigation, yeah, I, I don't think it's it's um, satisfactorily closed at all. We all know we are what we are unhappy with. Everything from everything, beginning with people going into the home, the way the investigation to to the way the investigation was snapped shut so quickly at the end and. I mean, there's hours and hours of things that everyone can talk about, does talk about. To do with that, I won't reiterate all of these things, but just my personal opinion is, um, actually, we do want an investigation on the investigation uh, because it stinks. It really does. The more you know, the more you think, what the? Um The video that I just posted, um, the very brief one mentioning a latest upload from Kim Kaufman on her Chris Watts, The Revelations, The Answers, or whatever it's called. I don't even know. Um, Revelation, The Reckoning, maybe? Uh, so... To explain that, because she has removed that a video, she removed that a video immediately, basically. Um, it was someone in a chat on, in a live on Megan J. Someone said, oh, she's uploaded. I went there. I made my video. Um, went to wait for True Sight Cord. And then in the meantime, realized that her video had been taken down. So I'll just quickly explain what it was. It was a video saying, that Chris Watts was, um, again, led and misled about something in the autopsy. Okay, so she was saying there's something disparate between what Chris Watts said and the autopsy to do with Shanann. And that is that the agent, male agent, asked, and where were I's bloodshot? And Chris goes, mm-hmm, very uncommittally. And 
then KKK shows the autopsy. I think it only showed one bloodshot eye. It actually did show. No, sorry, not bloodshot eyes, but Chris is saying they were bloodshot. Well, lady, Chris wasn't looking into Shanann Ruzak's face when he was killing her. He was probably on top of her face down or behind her. He he couldn't look in her eyes. He definitely he was not looking into her eyes. Okay, uh, he wouldn't have a clue. And this shit for brains shit stain will say anything at any time. He's unreliable. Um, he's probably said grains of truth in every little bit of. Um, confession that he's made, excuse me, allergies, uh, that he's made. But, you know, he's changed his story so many times and he, he thinks he's protecting someone, maybe. Or he thinks that if I act like I'm protecting someone, people will think I'm, I'm so amazing because he thinks he's amazing. Um, you know, I used to think, oh, well, was Jamie there? Where was Jamie? And then, of course, again, it's pointed out in this live that, um, yeah, there wasn't a police interview by Jamie, at least not one that's been released. And I'm thinking, yeah, I don't remember actually seeing a transcript or reportage of that or, or hearing it. Um, is it just missing from the discovery, you know? Um, but now on True Psych Ward, they've mentioned, oh, there's many people that weren't interviewed um, so was it Sandy, Cindy and Jamie not interviewed? So weird. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I was thinking at one stage, well, if it wasn't Nicole Kissinger, <laughs> was it Jamie? She is. Anywho, um, yeah, it's Remembrance Day here. In Brisbane. I might re-record this. See you later.